what's going on, of course, to all of my freaks and geeks out there. It is me, Quita, aka Belasian Quita, and I want to welcome you back to another episode of Sin TV Gaming, where, of course, I bring you smart, intelligent news and gaming. So I have a lot of updates that I have to give you freaks and geeks in regards to Sin TV Gaming and what's going to be going on with it. So here's one thing that I have noticed recently is that I am not really playing my games with a keyboard and mouse anymore. Actually, I've been playing all of my games recently with a controller. So what I decided to do is I am going to be showing you every game that I can that has what's called controller support. So I'm going to be showing you every game that is an MMO that has controller support. Because here's the thing that I have like noticed is that because I'm not playing with a mouse and keyboard, I actually am playing my games a lot longer with a controller than playing with a keyboard and mouse. So I just, you know, I wanted to do something different with the show. And I felt that, you know, that was something that was going to be interesting to see how many games that I can play with just a controller. So what's going to start happening is that every month I'm going to be showing you a game that has what is called controller support. So I wanted to start off with Terra and here is why. Terra is a game that it has controller support. So all you have to do is turn your controller on and it sees the controller and then you can just play. And it is really a lot of fun playing Terra with a controller. And for me, I can play Terra a lot longer with a controller than I can with a keyboard and, and mouse. And then the other thing that I'm going to be doing too is I want to start doing reviews on really good gaming controllers and of course affordable gaming controllers. Because one thing that I have noticed recently is the price of gaming controllers is it's getting expensive. It's really getting expensive. And I want to show you freaks and geeks affordable gaming controllers. So yeah, so let's play some Terra. And I love Terra for a couple of reasons. I think the first reason is because it's, you know, it's action and it's fighting and it's just a really good looking, nice game. It's just a nice game to play and it's a nice game to look at. So let's play, let's play some Terra here. So let's go over the controls with playing Terra with a controller. So of course, to move around, all you have to do is you use your directional to move around. That's all you're doing. And then you use your other directional to look around. So it changes how you see things. And then the thing that I kind of noticed with Terra is that the slower you do it, it's the better control you have. The faster you do it, it's kind of, and sometimes this is a challenge with Terra is if you do it too fast like this, it kind of makes it hard to see the enemy in front of you. So let me uh, give you an example of this. So let's say, you know, I'm doing this you know, and, and I'm not, you know, I'm not taking the time to see what my enemy's uh, next move is. And that's what can happen. So I'm still kind of getting used to controlling how I'm seeing things here in the game. But I'm getting better. I am getting better at it. And of course, here's the nice thing with Terra is that you can set up your controller any way that you want with the type of attacks that you're going to be using on your enemies. So for me, this is how I have mine uh, set up and it automatically does it for you is X for me is jump. 
Oh, and look at that jump. Yeah. I could do that all day, but I'm not going to. <laughs> and then, of course, I have Y with my more kind of stronger punch attack. And if you see that, um, like what you saw there, that X, that's more of a combination attack. So you want to make sure you pay attention to that. And then, of course, I can um, pick things up that way as well. And then, of course, for me, B is my kick. So that's... For me, that's pretty much it. You know, I try to keep things really simple. But then uh, I'll show you something here next that's really interesting with how this controller works in uh, Terra. And then what I have here is I have my next set of moves with my, um, my other, like, left button. And then my other right button, I have the uh, last part of moves, and then I have my potions and everything else. So it is something where if you are new to playing MMOs with a controller, it, it did take me some time to get used to it. But once you get used to it, like it's, it's really, really worth it. And it becomes a lot easier. So that's one thing I always like suggest that if you're going to be um, playing with a controller with an MMO is that you really have to take the time to understand your moves and how it works with um, the controller that you have because different controllers are going to feel really different with the game that you're going to be playing overall. So that is very, very, very important in Terra. And then another thing that's very important in Terra as well is defense. Like defense is really important. You have to really know how to get away from your enemy's attacks. And that really comes with time. And the longer that you play the game, of course, the better that you that you get at it but i'm just really happy to be back like i really really am like i really miss like playing my you know my games and everything so i'm really glad to be back but as you can see you know once you really get into it it is really easy to play Terra with a controller. Like, I was, uh, it was more, I was having a lot of issues playing with the keyboard and mouse. It was actually really, um, it was actually really difficult for me. Alright, so let's get some more, um, enemies here. Nope, didn't get me. That's like one of my favorite moves, is her um, stronger, stronger, stronger um, punch move or punch attack. Okay, so here's the nice thing um, with this particular... With this particular class that I'm playing, which is called the Brawler class, is you have um, what's called... It, I think the best way to describe it is kind of like once you punch a certain amount of punches, you can actually do a much stronger attack here, which I will show you right now. Okay, so I can't do it. There we go. So that is like the strongest attack that the uh, brawler has. But you have to make sure that you are around an enemy in order to use it or you will not be able to use it. So the more enemies that you punch, that's the more likely that you're able to use your 
strongest punch attack. Which is nice. All right. So let's take out uh, these enemies here. But that's really all there is to it with using um, Terra, you know, with a controller.